Hi, in this video I'll give you a quick overview of the Newton 4 pick and place machine with computer vision based alignment. A few years ago I bought the Newton TM240A pick and place machine. This is one of the most popular low cost desktop pick and place machine. And uh, it has worked pretty well for three years. I've made thousands of boards with this machine. But because this doesn't have computer vision based alignment, it's pretty limited. It can't really do fine pitched uh, chips. Um, and uh, it has only 27 uh, uh, feeders, which uh, are not really sufficient for me. Recently, Newton has released a new version of the machine called uh, Newton 4. And uh, this machine comes with computer vision based alignment. Specifically, it has a down-facing camera which can identify fiducial points on the PCBs. And uh, it also has an up-facing camera which can align components. On top of that, it has up to uh, 48 uh, feeder slots. So this is more than uh, sufficient for me. Um, and also it comes with the PCB feeder, uh, this conveyor belt system, which makes it really easy. Uh, to feed uh, PCBs into this machine. So I'll give you a quick review of how to run this machine and uh, my general experience with it. The machine came in a big wooden box that weighs about uh, 70 kg. Um, it's very well packaged. It wasn't entirely clear to me uh, how to open the box initially so we pried open the top cover but it actually turns out that there are a few screws at the bottom of the wooden box and all you need to do is to untighten these screws and then you can easily open the box. You can also purchase uh, this work table which is specially designed for uh, the machine. The machine comes with a built-in computer uh, which I think runs Windows XP. So the component feeders are arranged on the two sides of the machine. On the right hand side, uh, these are all 8 millimeter uh, tape feeders and I think there are about uh, I think 19 or 20 of these. And then on the left side, there are some additional 8 millimeter feeders and uh, some uh, 12 millimeter, 16 millimeter and 24 millimeter. And these component feeders, uh, when you order the machine, you can customize them and you can basically tell them how many um, of each uh, size feeder you want and they can uh, customize it for you. So on the, on the left side here, it's a platform that you can place, uh, you know, uh, tray matrix components like chips and uh, including you can design your own uh, tray matrix like this is a 3D printed tray matrix I designed for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip. You can actually also put uh, PCBs onto this platform so like you can use these uh, fixture tools uh, to uh, fix a PCB uh, here and that way uh, you can pick and place components onto the PCB in this area as well. And on the right here is the uh, PCB conveyor belt which you can use to uh, automatically feed the PCBs. There's also a vibrator feeder here which can fit uh, five uh, tubes. So these are really uh, convenient uh, for uh, you know tube packaging. So now I'm going to turn on the machine and you can see the initialization process. So when I power on the machine, um, the, compu uh, the computer system will start to boot um, and uh, this machine has a built-in air compressor so it's a little bit noisy but uh, it's pretty convenient because then you don't need an external air compressor so um, you know th that makes the machine remain compact. And so you can see the system has booted up and then uh, the pick and place head is going to do some uh, initialization and alignment. Um,
So this is Newton's uh, software interface. It's uh, pretty minimalist. Um, by the way, so I just out of curiosity, I changed it to Chinese language and uh, apparently to change it back to English, I have to ask the manufacturer for a password, uh, which I haven't uh, got. Uh, so, you know, for now, I'm just uh, stuck with the Chinese language, but, you know, hopefully most of these are pretty intuitive and, and uh, you know, easy to recognize. So this is the first tab which shows uh, the pick and place files. And uh, here is menu testing. So here is where you can sort of test all the uh, components of uh, the machines. So now let me uh, go into a specific PCB uh, and you can see how to uh, edit the pick and place file. So I'm going to choose the uh, open garage uh, board uh, which uh, comes with a 2x2 two two, uh, panel. So I go into the editing interface. Um, so this is the first tab. Uh, this is the called the PCB information. So um, for this, uh, because the this panel doesn't, I didn't leave enough margins on the side. So I didn't want to use the conveyor con conveyor belt because that would tend to smear out some components on the side. And so I'm I uh, chose to use the. Uh, the fixed tray uh, form. Now this section here defines the fiducial points uh, or they call it the PCB marks. Because, because I'm using a panel, uh, I'm going to just uh, use two uh, fiducials, uh, one on the lower left, one on the upper right. And these don't have to be you know, proper fiducial points, these can just be some landmarks uh, on the PCBs. So let me check the first uh, fiducial. Um, so you can see that the uh, the camera moves to the first fiducial, which is roughly here. So you know you can move around, and you can pick a different fiducial if you want. Uh, but you know when you're getting fairly close, you can use this button uh, to snap onto the fiducial. So it's going to use computer vision algorithm to try to identify the center of that landmark uh, and then uh, lock onto that and then you can you know save it and return and uh, let's see this the other fiducial is around here on the right hand side this big table defines the pick and place uh, you know position XYZ coordinates of each component the rotation angle um, and uh, you know uh, you can also define the packaging and uh, the component uh, specification, but these are, I think, just for your information. The machine doesn't really use uh, these uh, packaging information. What's important are the XYZ coordinates, rotation, and also which pick and place uh, head. So there are in total four heads you can use, uh, so it can simultaneously place four components at the same time. Uh, and also which component feeder. So these XYZ coordinates, you can obviously visually define them by just to, you know, going into the PCB and locate every component and then, uh, you know, pick the location and, and uh, confirm. But you can also import from the spreadsheet. So I wrote a um, Eagle CAD uh, script file which allows you to easily export the XY coordinates from existing PCB design. So I've, I have shared that uh, script on my website and you can go and download that script uh, and that makes it pretty easy to um, uh, you know import uh, these XY coordinates. And then uh, so about the component feeders now this second tab here this basically defines the uh, feeder configuration. Um, so here you can say, uh, you can enable certain feeders and leave the rest uh, disabled. Uh, you can define, you know, for each feeder, which uh, pick and place head are you going to use. Um, you know, some of these, like uh, this one is a matrix tray, so you can define like the matrix tray uh, configuration. 
and uh, this one is for the CH340 so this one is um, a uh, vibration feeder so this component and uh, you know again you can basically you can you can you can customize uh, the pick and place location you can use the visual aid to help you identify where it should pick the component uh, and other things like the height of the component uh, and uh, this selection box uh, allows you to choose whether you want vision correction or not so the default is correct and uh, you can also choose not to correct like if you know this is some capacitor or uh, resistor which you know like a little bit error is fine then you can choose to not correct and that will speed up the pick and place okay so now I will start a pick and place session um, so I'm going to uh, start with uh, stepping so that you can see uh, step by step what the machine is doing so I'll start and then as you can see the first step is it's going to do uh, uh, the fiducial um, recognition so now it has recognized both fiducials and then the next step is the first and the second component so this is the CH340G uh, USB serial, so this is doing vision-based correction and then placing and uh, vision correction again so I'm just going to let it run continuously now Now some of the components like capacitors and resistors, uh, you know, they're pretty tolerant to small errors, so um, I have skipped the vision correction for those small components. And this last component is the uh, buzzer, which is a fairly large component. So here is the result of the pick and place. As you can see, it looks pretty good. The components are all quite well aligned and uh, the um, I haven't quite figured out how to use the matrix tray yet so the ESP8266 the largest chip here I'm gonna f uh, have to place them by hand for now so in the second example um, I'm going to show you how uh, to use the uh, PCB conveyor belt to feed the PCB so in this case, you can set the machine to identify the front edge of the PCB and uh, uh, this way it can automatically feed the PCB without having to uh, fix it onto this platform. So I'm going to click on the PCB feeding this button and you will see what happens next. So you see that um, uh, from the vision camera, let's see, from the vision camera here, we can see that it basically ident identified the front edge of the PCB and stopped there. Okay, so now let me start with this pick and place session. And uh, this board is the 
open sprinkler DC powered expander uh, and arranged in a 3 by one panel. So again I'm going to start with uh, step by step and uh, so let's see step. and of course to begin with it's going to calibrate the pick and place head and then feed the PCB. So at this point you can see it located the front end of the PCB. It doesn't have to be completely accurate because the next step is to identify the fiducial points. So the feeding just needs to get it to uh, you know, uh, close enough that it can recognize the fiducial points. And then I'm going to let it run continuously. As you can see, this time, let me just pause it. This time it's picking multiple components at the same time. Uh, because this board is mostly 0603 uh, components, uh, I've set it so that it can pick three components, uh, like resistors, at the same time. And uh, the machine allows you to do vision correction for multiple components uh, at the same time. So you can see here it located uh, three components and uh, did vision based correction on all of them at the same time. Now for some of the larger components like the shift register, I have reduced the speed to 50%. That generally helps uh, improve the accuracy of the placement. So now it's placing this uh, TVS diode. Okay, so I think the first panel is done. I'm going to let it continuously run. Uh, and we'll come back again when the last panel is finished. Okay, so now this board is completely done, and uh, I can just uh, move it back from the conveyor belt, and then take a closer look. So overall, it looks pretty good. Um, I did notice a couple of uh, components that actually are not perfectly aligned. Uh, so this does happen, you know, occasionally. Um, when the uh, pick and place head uh, places the component down, at that moment the component might get misaligned and that's not something that the vision correction itself can do because this is after the vision correction. But you know, overall uh, it still significantly reduces the amount of uh, manual adjustment that uh, you have to do afterwards. So overall I'm pretty happy with the machine. The uh, vision correction is definitely a big plus. In addition to that, the added number of components and just the, the variety of components that this uh, machine can handle, it's also um, really nice to have. It's pretty nicely designed. You know, the machine can be very powerful, but you don't want to spend forever learning how to use it. Um, so the intuitive user interface and uh, the easiness of the software uh, are also big plus uh, for this machine. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for watching this video.